Hi, and welcome to Randy's Greenhouse. Today I want to talk about uh, Nepenthes plants, one of my favorite plants in the world. This is a carnivorous plant from Southeast Asia. It has a viney growth habit. Uh, they can get quite long, but the traps that actually trap insects are way down here at the bottom. Inside of this urn is actually a fluid with digestive enzymes inside of it. This lip has a waxy surface to it that insects are attracted to and then fall down inside, drown, and are digested by the plant inside. You can see they can have quite a lot of color on them. They can be very beautiful plants. and They have a lot of different uh, shapes and forms. This one here is an Nepenthes alata. This one over here is uh, Nepenthes ampullaria. It's called a monkey's rice pot. That's its common name. Uh, again, it's got the digestive juices inside of it. Now these plants can produce traps that get quite large. If you look at this Nepenthes truncata over here, you can see they have enormous jug-like urns on them, and they can actually trap uh, creatures as large as a rodent or even, even very small baby monkeys, if you can believe it. Uh, another one of my favorites here is Nepenthes rafflesiana. Just look at the colors on that. It's absolutely magnificent. But these are a dioecious plant. They produce uh, uh, male flowers on one plant and female flowers on the other plant. They're otherwise exactly the same. They're a very tropical plant. They need uh, acidic soil and they like uh, water without any uh, ions dissolved in it, so rainwater or distilled water would be what you'd want to water them with. They like a little bit higher humidity, but you don't have to grow them in a greenhouse. Easily rooted from cuttings and a very rewarding plant. And uh, it's one of my favorite plants in the world. These are the Nepenthes. Thanks for watching Randy's Greenhouse.